welcome to what is going to be my last weekend here. That feels weird to say out loud. I definitely have not mentally fully processed this yet. But anyways, I don't expect today to be a very interesting vlog day because I have my poli-sci midterm tomorrow. I've gotten started studying over the past week, but I still haven't watched the last like two or three lectures and uh, it's tomorrow. So let's get studying. The main thing I've been doing so far is taking notes from these things called hunks which are PDF summaries of the lectures that my professor uploads. Basically, I'm just condensing them all into a massive reference guide, not because I can use it on the test, but just because reorganizing the information and trying to identify what's important feels really helpful to me in memorizing everything, especially when I write it out by hand. And then after that, I'm going to take the two review finals that I got from some dude who posted about PoliSci40 on Reddit. Basically, UCLA has this thing called the test bank, where some classes will allow students to submit previous tests. According to everyone who's ever taken this class before, this professor loves to reuse his tests, so test bank material, absolute gold. But this year, due to COVID, the test bank isn't open. So being able to find past students who took pictures of these tests and are willing to send them to us have been an absolute godsend. This shot is so boring looking. Maybe the fairy lights make it marginally more interesting, but in case I didn't already say this, I have four exams. I already wrote a paper and did a project, and I have one more final project. I'm taking 19 units this quarter, four classes, which is not a lot by high school standard, but it's a lot for our quarter system. And every single one of them decided to give me an exam this week. They're well within their rights to do that, but I'm also well within my rights to complain about how much I no longer want to exist. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not promoting underage drinking. I'm just addicted to sparkling water. Honestly, this is the least like exciting summer day I could have possibly produced. It is unseasonably cold and cloudy here in LA as well. And based on the dampness of the ground this morning, I think it might have even rained yesterday night. I don't know, but I should probably get to work. The project I'm working on for French is actually pretty fun and interesting. It's just like all work is still work. Basically, a lot of the like personal identity words concerning LGBT people in French are either borrowed from English or from Greek roots. And then there's also like the new issue of the non-binary pronoun. But anyways, I should probably go back to actually doing my work instead of just telling you about the work that I'm going to do. Two more hours left until my poli sci final. I'm gonna finish my last practice test and uh, hope for the best. Two more minutes. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Wish me luck on this. Although by the time this video is uploaded, I'll probably have my grade back. I feel pretty good about that. Almost everything on the test was also in the, it, yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm short-circuiting a little bit because I've been just furiously typing about American politics for the past hour and a half, but it felt better than the midterm did, and I did really freaking well in the midterm, so I'm decently confident about this one.
I never lose my Bruin card except when I'm filming the vlogs. But I lost my Bruin card while I was running and I don't know where I lost it. So there's like a three mile radius in which I could have dropped this card. Ugh. At this rate, I might as well just get a new one. I'm not gonna find it. Um, I think I called in earlier. Could I get a replacement for my Bruin card? So it seems like getting a new card is supposed to take around a week. And I'm here for another like four days, so. So the guy at the front desk recommended that I just stick to using the temporary card for the rest of this year. And I need to get a little meal pass thing for every time I want to eat at the dining hall. It's, it's a road bump, an inconvenience to be sure, but hey, it's not the end of the world. Anyways, today's meant to be a little bit more of a fun, eventful day. I'm making a somewhat impulsive decision to get curtain bangs. I know I'm a bit behind on this trend, but yeah, I think it's a good time to cut off some of these crispy dying ends from my hair and uh, switch it up a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty much ready to go, but honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough social guts to ask to film while I'm getting my hair cut. So just in case, let's do a little bit of a TikTok transition, but on YouTube to the post haircut look. Please don't come for me. I know this song and trend is probably already over by the time I get around to editing this video, but we're gonna give it my favorite soundtrack. There's one thing you can expect from me and that's the unexpected. Cause I'm an international super spy. Super spy. I don't think I'm in the same key anymore cause I don't remember what key I sang it in earlier today. But yeah, this is what my new bangs look like and the rest of my haircut. I think it turned out pretty good. It's not that dramatic of a difference, just a little bit more like face framing fringe going on. I don't really know how I'm supposed to style it though. So if you have advice or a TikTok or Pinterest tutorial that you'd like to link me to, please let me know in the comments. It'd be very much appreciated. UCLA like graduating senior actually found my car. Just here to chop it off to me. Wait, I actually, I don't know why I'm running. I don't think I need to be running. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, these like really nice recent grads decided like since they were driving in this general direction anyway, they would just loop around and give me my card back because they found it. I feel so grateful and hashtag blessed. And they were so nice too. They had advice. I should go to bars in West Hollywood. I don't have a fake ID though. I'm not going. It's been a long, exhausting day, but we made it. Things went wrong, but they ended up okay. And I guess that's just how life is meant to be lived. <laughs> Alright, T minus half an hour until my second of four final exams. This is definitely the one I'm most nervous about because like, it's a hard class for me. <laughs> the material from the final feels a lot harder than the material from the midterm, so I am not expecting fantastic things. Je vais réussir sur cet examen. And that is a nasal vowel squiggly. I know things. I'm done, I'm done. I'm done with this one. And this is like the hardest one I was worrying the most about and it actually wasn't even that bad. Like I felt like I knew how to do everything. And I have just two more slightly easier finals left. Ooh.
my Faisai prof just emailed us a uh, final exam starting now with two exclamation points. So I think it's safe to say I, I will start the final exam now. I'm not too worried about it though. This is 50 minutes of multiple choice questions and this class is known to be an easy science GE for people who don't study the sciences and don't want to take any of the pre-med sequence. So let's get final number three out of the way. <laughs> Next, I'm going to try to finish my linguistics final. It is a take-home final. Like, everything is a take-home final this year because everything is online. It is intended to take around three hours, but we have the entire week to finish and submit it. And so naturally, I left it until the very last day that I could work on it. So uh, it looks like I've got 18 pages of take-home final exam to work on. It's okay though. I can definitely finish this before lunch. Sweet, Jesus. I can't believe I'm leaving today. My freshman year is over. I haven't sunk in. It feels like the year has barely started, and it's probably because I spent the first two quarters of it being depressed and alone in my room because of the pandemic. I think when I first moved in, I called it my dining hall, library, classroom, lecture hall, all in one, and it really has been that. She's a little crowded with three beds. She's a little messy sometimes. Not exactly the perfect dorm room that you see on Pinterest, but. She's my home, and I'm gonna miss her. I guess all that's left for me now is to finish packing up. Let's do it.
guess this is it. And there's a 99% chance I'm never gonna see this room again. I'm going home, but... This is home too. So I guess, uh, goodbye UCLA for now. I'll be back for you in the fall. And if the next tenant at Sunset Village Courtside, C2210, is out there somewhere, uh, please treat her well, cause uh, she used to be mine. Some